I'm going to show you how to make my version of the King's Coronation quiche. So I'm just buttering my flan tin. Going to go into all of the little flutes. Now I'm just going to flour my surface and my rolling pin. And I've got my defrosted pastry from the freezer. I don't make my own pastry. So you want your pastry quite thin, so what I do is I slip the, the loose bottom of my tin underneath the pastry and then as it gets really nice and thin you then don't have to lift the pastry up too much on its own so it will, won't split and tear. Gently ease the pastry into the little flutes. Then I just roughly chop the really excess bits of pastry off and then prick the base. I'm going to line it with greaseproof paper and use my baking beads to really help the pastry stay flat. Then pop it in the oven. Five minutes before the end of its baking time, I like to take out the baking beads just so that the middle of the pastry cooks through really nicely. So that's the base cooked nicely. Now to prepare the filling. So just taking off the stalky bits from the spinach and then give it a wash. So I've put a knob of butter in the base of the saucepan and I'm just going to layer the spinach on top with a sprinkling of salt. So we'll cook that on a medium heat for just a few minutes and the spinach will all wilt down beautifully. And that's pretty much done. So we want five eggs. Then I'm going to add my cream and my tarragon and then give it a good whip. And now we get to assemble the quiche. Then pour in this delicious mixture. Now look, doesn't that look great? So just need to pop it in the oven. Look at that deliciousness.